Carlene. Hi, Gino. By the way, what an outfit. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, tell us about the outfit before you oh. before we begin. Okay, well, it's supposed to be a cl uh, colonial clothing, typical. Yeah. And uh, Bobby Mather made the top for me. Okay. And so we, that, is a, that is a typical outfit. It is a typical outfit. Okay. Yeah. we got a big event coming up. Yes. What's it called? Oh, uh, it's, it's Margarita Days Festival of Machias, Maine, and it's our it's the uh, our 11th year of holding the festival and it's held up at the University of Maine in Machias and it's a it's a celebration of the American Revolution down east. We're really going to make this a celebration of the way colonial life was and we're going to bring you back in history. You step back in time and see the way people live. But we're really celebrating the first naval battle of the American Revolution, the United States Navy declared it so. Oh, so we so know it is. It happened here. It happened here. It's when the Patriots here. Um, you'll hear the whole story when you come to the festival. Mm -hmm. But they captured captured the British Navy ship, the Margareta, and that was quite an undertaking for a, you know about 60 people that settlers that only lived here less than 12 years and they decided to go up against the greatest power in the world. But that's the first part of the story. We also mention and include the Battle of the Rim. Now the Battle of the Rim, okay, think that's when the British returned with orders and we have a copy of the letter from the British ordering the town of Machias to be burned down. And he sent another admiral in to do that and they probably would have won the second battle because they came back with four ships. But thanks to the Native Americans who came and supported us, they were there, uh, right there in the valley. This, the second battle took, down, took place closer to Helen's Restaurant, our famous beloved Helen's Restaurant. Took place down here, and it's a valley, and it echoes. So the British, there was a British officer coming up in a little launch, and um, one of the chiefs of the Native Americans shot and killed him. It was an amazing shot that nobody thought could ever happen. Wow. And then they led the settlers in hooting and hollering and screaming, which echoed in that valley. Unlike here, we've got the roar, the mighty roar, the bad little falls, but down there it's a little valley. And the echoes echoed so much that the British left and reported that they were totally outnumbered and they never came back. So it is a great story and we want to share it. We want to get it in the history books. Very few people know about it. Even people from Washington County, let alone the state of Maine. We want to get it worldwide. And, so and, what does Machias mean? Well, Machias is the native, is the Passamaquoddy word for bad little falls. Ah, what so, we're at right now. Right, right here. It's a beautiful place. All right, so tell us about the festival. When is it? Okay, it's uh, June 13th, Saturday, June 13th, and... Um, just on Saturday? Just on Saturday. Okay. We, we do call it Margareta Days because we're talking about in the good old days, in the Got colonial it. days. Got it. And we hope to expand it, too. Okay. So what happens to, for the day? What do people expect if they want to come up okay. you know, and see it? Well, um, we have a schedule of events. People might check out the magazine. Okay. It's in there. Yep. We also have a website yeah. and a Facebook site. Okay. Um, I could give you that later. Okay. But it's going to the American Legion of Bon Court Street is going to do their fourth annual pancake blueberry pancake breakfast, and uh, we'll start it out with that. Yeah. And actually, that reminds me that the biggest this year's focus is going to be on veterans. Okay. We will. Um, so they're going to start with the pancake breakfast, and then in the next thing that will happen at 9:30, the um, Sons of the American Revolution are going to be meeting in front of the courthouse on Court Street and they're going to lay a wreath at the monument there. Okay. Then at 10 o'clock, um, the parade will start at Helen's Restaurant, walk through downtown, walk through Main Street, come up here to the bridge, and that's kind of why I wanted to meet you here. Yeah. Okay, so then we'll come to the bridge and we're going to do a, a dedication of the bridge. We're going to name it the Jeremiah O'Brien. That was a uh, a sentiment, a proclamation, legislative work put forth by Will Toole. 
and so we're gonna do that and we're gonna have the ceremony right here and the Rose Gaffney's chorus is going to sing the national anthem. That's the local one grade school? Or? Yes, uh, yes, yeah. one of our local grade schools. Okay. So we're happy to have them. Yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah. And then you also have the Navy Band coming from, from Newport? Yes, the Navy Band. Um, wow. but, All the way from Newport, just for this? Yeah, just for this. And it's a 35 member group wow. from the Newport, Rhode Island. Where are they going to play? They're going to play up at the college, so they won't be down here. They're, they're going to play twice. For two uh, concerts? One, no. The first one's 11.30. They're going to do patriotic marches. Okay. And then at then we'll have different ceremonies until 2 o'clock. And at 2 o'clock, they're going to do a full concert. And, of course, everybody's looking forward to that. We want to invite all veterans to come, especially Navy veterans, and to have them wear some How kind of... Coast Guard veterans? Absolutely. I'll be here. <laughs> And we, but we want to honor everybody sure. who's done, given so much for our country. Now, will a lot of people be dressed up in the colonial look? Well, we would, yes, a lot of people will be. And my goal is, I wish someday everybody in the whole town would dress up. You don't have to go and get something expensive. I made the skirt out of a curtain. Wow. You know, so, yeah. Yeah, you know, think outside the box. That's, That's what, they what they did. Exactly. Yes, yeah. But uh, back to the, I don't know, I was going to say something about, more about the bridge. Oh, oh, the big thing on the bridge here, we hope to do a town photo. Oh. Everybody come. Come here. You mean anybody that lives in town? Anybody wants to. Get in a photograph. Really? Just yeah. photo bombing? Yeah. It doesn't matter that you don't live in Machias? No. We're, we're inclusive. All I don't right. like exclusivity. All right. Down with that. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Are you from Maine? Uh, no, I'm not. Where are you from? Um, I was born in Newburgh, New York. Okay. George Washington was pretty busy there. That's right. Um, but my mother was from Lubeck, Maine. So I was one of many people around here that came up here every summer, I... fell in love, and couldn't get out of their blood, the love of the ocean, and everything beautiful here. Okay. So I moved back, and here I am, and I'm learning all this history. You love it. I love you it love here. love history. Yes, yes, yeah, I, I love the you. history right it's here. It's that somebody's interested and keeps it alive for the younger generations, too. I mean, a festival like this really bonds everybody to remember. It, it's fun. It makes, I, I can't say I love history because <laughs> I can't sit and read those dry history books okay, right, like right. a lot of people. But when you come up here and you see people dressing up, see, we're going to have people up there. Somebody's going to be Jeremiah O'Brien and talk like he did and talk about his life. There's going to be a Hannah Weston up there. She'll tell her exciting story. And Representative Henry Bayer will be there. He will tell the story of the Battle of the Rim, how the Indians helped us out. So it's going to come alive. And the homeschoolers are putting on a play. Young kids, are, and they're going to bring it right to life. So you don't have to love history. But you'll li if you like fun and entertainment, you will, you will learn to love history this way. How about food? Oh yeah, food, great. I'm glad you asked. Okay. We're gonna have two we're gonna have our own colonial food up there. Mm. Debbie Butler, it makes the world's best beans. And I was never the biggest bean fan. She makes really good beans. Mm. And Betsy Fitzgerald and her sister have made meat pies. We're gonna be selling them and then cornbread. The Masonic Law uh, the Ladies Auxiliary, the Masonic Lodge, has donated gingerbread, cornbread, and popcorn. And that's another thing I love. Everybody in the town is pulling together, and every year we're trying to get more people to come forward and see what they can do. I certainly can't do it all, and I've made mistakes, you know, I've done this wrong and that wrong, but if we have more people chipping in, two heads are better than one and a hundred are better. You got it. Well, listen, um, I'm gonna be here. Yay, and good. And we'll bring the camera, and I can't wait to see it, because I, I don't think I've ever covered it, ever. This no. will be the first time. I remember, I think I was trying, ever since 2005, when the first one yes, started. I was, I was around then. I was always saying, Gino, can you come? Oh, Gino, can you okay, come? I missed it. All right, well, thanks for talking with us. Oh, thank you, everybody. Hope you all come.